All right, guys, what's going on? Willis here. We're back with another Hell Divers 2 video. In this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a new mech coming, the Flame Mech, as well as a new April Fool's Pinata stratagem, a nuclear bomb stratagem, an incendiary grenade launcher, and much, much more in this video. Before we jump into the video as well, I am giving away a copy of Hell Divers to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is like the video, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So obviously there will be timestamps in this video if you want to go to any specific thing. But yeah, obviously the EAT guys, if you guys aren't using this rocket launcher, I highly recommend using it. And I feel like people who haven't used it don't realize how um, powerful it is. Because basically the way it works is you call in a rocket, you get two of them, and your teammates can use them as well and the thing is if everybody in your team has this it's extremely overpowered because it's only on a one minute cooldown so if you're not using the eat in most i guess bug missions um use it because it's amazing against battle titans and obviously charges with the one rocket to the head so this unfortunate hell divers eject function on the mech malfunctioned as you can see and he goes flying out of the mech but no wouldn't it be great if we actually had like an eject button for the mechs so we could actually just get out and just fly out i would much prefer to just fly out of the mech like this rather than just jump out the back that small chance i could survive would just make it all worth it also can i just say the game is absolutely gorgeous for those of you as well on ps5 someone actually took this picture or screenshot of like another planet in the distance the game itself is amazing I'm pretty sure the game was made on an engine that doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, it's absolutely just stunning. It's definitely a next-gen game. So apparently flying chargers are not real. They cannot hurt you. This charger seems to have merged with a streaker and has evolved into a flying charger. But no, that was actually terrifying. I don't know what type of glitch happened here, but it looked like a shrieker got inside of a charger and it almost like picked it up in the air and it's flying with wings. So yeah, do not be fooled. There are not flying charges in the game. I think that would be extremely broken. Also, massive shout out to Joel right now. On some planets, we're actually getting three 500 kg bombs. And this is for all hell divers as well. So yeah, if you bring in a 500 kg bomb, guess what? You're going to have like four of them to do what you want with. Amazing. All right, guys, on to the mega, mega leaks. So there's a lot here. And if you don't like spoilers, I recommend you click away now. We've got a bunch of new stratagems, new mech suit, um, some crazy new uh, April's Fool stuff that I think they're planning. And yeah, so first up, we have the nuclear bomb. This is limited to one use and two with upgrades. So as you can see here, here's the, I guess, the leaked combination, but... Obviously, there's some gameplay in game of you actually using this, but yeah, this has been found by Mouse TTV as well. The Eagle to Air missiles. Now, there was actually some gameplay I put on my channel of this that basically how this works is it's homing air to air missiles that can destroy most nearby flying targets. But I have seen this used on a Bile Titan, so I know for a fact this does work on Bile Titans. I don't know if it's because they're so like, like high off the ground that it hits them but this definitely works on Battle Titans. Next up, we have the Super Earth Troop Support. So this was leaked a while back. Essentially what this is, it's a troop. You call in a bunch of troops. Um, the cooldown is 60 seconds. It's two uses, no duration. You basically summon a transport plane to air airdrop six soldiers to the player. During the landing of the transport plane, it will randomly fire three to 12 cannons at nearby enemies within 80 meters to break heavy armor so it sort of works as like a little gunship as well that comes in um you air shop you airdrop five shoulders equipped with liberator rifles and one soldier equipped with an mg43 machine gun a total of six infantry weapons will drop after the infantry dies so this can be used as like a weapon drop as well honestly if the troops die you can just pick up their weapons but yeah, I don't think there's actually any working gameplay of this. Most of the gameplay I've seen just drops these like NPC, um, like unmodeled, un no animations, and they basically just stand there. But yeah, this is called the Super Earth Troop Support, and it's a new stratagem. Next up, we have the Carpet Bomb. This was shown off before. Three uses, 450 second cooldown, 60 meter range. 
from left to right. So it's a left to right stratagem, which basically means the bombing run will start on the left and go to the right. It drops a ton of bombs and you can guess, obviously it's a carpet bomb. It's big. The explosions are nuts. Next up, I really tried to get some gameplay of this, but this is the GL21 Incendiary Grenade Launcher. So it's a flamethrower grenade launcher that I'm pretty sure just fires these like napalm canister shells. It's slower than the regular grenade launcher. You can reload on the run and it will cause an explosion and burning effect for five seconds. No armor penetration. So I don't think you can kill like charges with this. Apparently, I assumed with all flame type weapons, you could kill charges. But apparently with this, you can't. Um, it's got six rounds, five mags and 36 total rounds. The incendiary grenade launcher. Next up, this is one I have not seen before. This is the AD289 Angel, and this is healing 20 seconds. Um, this increases healing energy reserves and mobile healing. Also heals NPCs, mechs, vehicles, and turrets. Mission entities will not be healed. Entering mechs, vehicles will return to user slash mount on top of mechs like other drones will not heal while inside. So this actually looks like one of the flying drone robots that follows you around. And yeah, it's going to act like a little healing robot. So that's pretty interesting. Next up here, this is probably when one of the first leaks I ever saw, which I thought was pretty cool. And apparently this is in Helldivers 1. It is the Displacer Backpack. And what this will basically do is whenever you're going to take like a fatal blow, it will just teleport you away. I have seen this in game. It doesn't actually work. Most of the time people use this, it just crashes their game. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's actually functioning yet. But yeah, the BX7 Displacer Pack. Next up here, we have some remote explosives. And this actually has a very big input. Uh, the cooldown is 30 seconds, unlimited uses. And you basically call down a explosive tank. So this looks like to be something you have to shoot. Interesting. This one caught my attention as well. A pinata full of surprises. So it looks like this calls down a canister and potentially it acts as like a loot box where you don't know what's inside of it it could call in anything but it's a really small input so this could be something they could do for april fools potentially because it's called a pinata full of surprises so we literally could get anything there even could be like a hell bomb that just drops in one of these that would be pretty sick next up we've got a new mission stratagems the bug breaker drill so this is obviously specific to the missions which will only appear when you're near the mission this drill is capable of penetrating the solid walls of terminator hives and deploying nuclear explosives to destroy all tunnels um next up we have the insect tower sterilizer this is a 30 second cooldown we have a pile hammer which is a 30 second cooldown and a scrambler we've got some new planet effects extreme cold so the weapons dissipate heat twice as fast that's pretty sick so it helps with the the weapon heat we've got the enemy orbital bombardment we've got swamp blizzard acid rainstorm primitive jungle volcanoes it is the fire version of meteor storm in addition to the impact damage of 380 it also has the effect of igniting the ground for 30 seconds we've got new player effects coming which is blind hallucination mild radiation heavy radiation, light energy sun, reverse aiming, and backpack chemicals. Up next, we've got some really cool insights on the Illumina and basically what they do. So the Adept, what they will do is they will search and check suspicious points, make sounds to question suspicious points, call allies, summon default summoner, escape, dodge, deploy shield, launch projectiles, launch concussive balls, the concussive balls explode when encountering obstacles. Void flames. Next up, we have the ghoul. They drill holes, search, check suspicious points, make sounds to question suspicious points, call allies, uh, raid, melee slashes left, right, and down. Next, we have guy staff, teleport, search, check suspicious points, make sounds to question suspicious points, call allies, dash, Dodge, teleport, melee slashing, melee uppercut. Next, we have the illusionist. Search, check suspicious points, make sounds to question suspicious points, call allies, call allies, dodge, flash, fire artillery, obelisk. This transmits, run away, and project. So these are the things that basically just hide 
and just watch for you. Um, the observers, so they teleport, trace the source of a sound, send a threatening call to the suspicious target, find the target making a call, and scan transmit, melee, fire lightning. We've got the outcast, which teleports, trace the source of the sound, send a threatening call to the suspicious target, find the target making a call, and scan, destroy, obstacle, dodge, melee, fires a lightning beam, and then we've got the Pathfinder Summoner, the Tripod Bark, send threatening calls to suspicious targets and make calls when the target's found. Then we have this thing called Cyborgs. Is this potentially like a gunship? Watches for enemies, fire warnings, alert allies, attacks the ground and launches rockets. And yeah, all of this stuff here is shown off. And then we've got um, Lieutenants. Now this apparently is for the new Cyborgs. So that's pretty interesting. Um... Weapons include chainsaws, rocket launchers, cannons, machine guns, and flamethrowers. And this is shown off here in this huge leak. We've got potentially some new upgrades returning. So it actually looks like we're going to be able to upgrade some stratagems from what I can see from this list here. And then finishing up with the bad boy himself, the XO51 Lumberer Exosuit. And from what I gather, this is a Gatling gun on the left and a flamethrower on the right so this guy looks nuts now me myself i think all the mechs are kind of great and i think it's definitely good to have at least one in each of your groups but this by far i think will be the best for dealing with the terminid just because if you're not aware when you use fire against the bugs they will actively try and avoid the fire so you can essentially create safe zones um they're not like the automatons the, the automatons will just go right through the fire the bugs, they hate the fire. So if you're trying to just like create some space, flamethrowers are the way. But yeah, this is nuts. Massive shout out to Mouse for leaking all of this stuff. Probably the biggest leak to date. Two minutes ago, I managed to catch this. So yeah, once again, guys, we are giving away copies of Helldivers. Just leave a like on the video, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe. Let's try and reach 5,000 likes on this video by tomorrow. We can do it, I believe. Um, as well, the weekly order is ending very soon, so make sure to go out and liberate those planets, guys. With that being said, guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace.